Today, I'm going to tell you about something quite exciting. This video is going to run through three different ways that you can source and find products to private label to sell on the likes of Amazon or maybe Shopify. So yesterday, we actually attended a trade show for the first time. The trade show was called the White Label Expo in London, and it's basically a collection of stands and exhibitions of UK-based suppliers. So, and these suppliers come from all over. We're talking the US, uh, Europe, obviously the UK, uh, from China. We spoke to loads of different suppliers yesterday, and they all come there for one single purpose. They want to meet and talk to people like you and I, Amazon sellers, people looking for products. So I thought I'd put together a video to show you guys some actual footage of us going around the trade show and talking to you guys about some of the really important stuff that we learned from yesterday. And I can openly and honestly say, I think yesterday was probably one of the most exciting days uh, that we've had whilst running our online business. So businesses, I should say. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. We are all incredibly excited. We have possibly created about four very profitable and exciting relationships with some potential suppliers for a number of our private label brands that we sell on Amazon. So we spent the day yesterday, we got the train early in the morning and we went up to London. Uh, we got to the trade show around about 11 o'clock and yeah, we were instantly blown away by how big this thing was. So you can see, we're walking around, you can see how many stands are actually there. Um, I was amazed with the types of businesses that were set up there that had exhibitions. So previously to actually try to find some supplier leads, I actually went through the white label exhibitors list to look some potential contacts. And I found a load and spoke to a few of them, but a load of them, or the best ones I found, I actually missed when I looked online because one thing you can't get around is face-to-face -face business is better than anything else. And that sounds so cliche, and I've heard that so many times, but honestly, yesterday was a real game changer. Um, the three of us came away yesterday really, really excited. So yeah, uh, I think one of the biggest struggles we've had as Amazon sellers is finding potential suppliers of products that meet quite specific criteria. So some people are just looking for products to purchase them at a particular price and sell them on. So obviously we're in that game, but we are very, very keen. Uh, in fact, we won't even consider a product if we haven't got certification. If the supplier can't give us the documents we need for us to build a certification pack for that product. So that if we have a problem on Amazon, a customer complaint, a safety issue, and Amazon asks for our documentation and asks which directive it's certificated under and how it's marked, what relevant directive uh, we've lined up all of our packaging safety warnings in line with, we've got the document pack there. And when we first started, we had a few of these problems and it took us ages to get listings back. But I think we had one about two weeks ago and the listing was back live within 48 hours, which, I mean, you guys will know, if you run out of stock, you lose a lot of money, you lose momentum. So massively important. So when we're looking for suppliers, we're looking for, most importantly, we want to know that they're proper companies. So we have for a long time sourced products from the Far East and it's always taken us quite a bit of time to find suppliers that have the right certification. And some people don't care, and you might not, and that's fine, each to their own, but we are building a business for the long term. We are not building a business that one day Amazon can come along, take down our listing, and we haven't got a foot to stand on because it's not a legally certificated product. So I think certification is not something people talk about enough, it's boring, but if you want a long term business, if you want to sleep at night, uh, if you want to build something serious, you're gonna need it. Next up, obviously we're looking for products that we can buy uh, at the most beneficial price to us. So we we want to make money at the end of the day. We all are in this game to make profit, uh, unless you know, you've know you got other intentions with this. But by speaking to people face to face and by collating a number of different suppliers, there it, it enabled us to start relationships with all of them, but then we can obtain quotes for the products we want. And 
we've then got a point. So we can see who's maybe the cheapest. We can start negotiating with each of them, um, but line it all up. So something else that's very important to us is lead times. So how long are these suppliers going to take to make the products uh, and get them shipped into Amazon FBA for us? So they're the main questions we're asking suppliers. What are your lead times? Uh, which certification do you hold? Uh, which other big brands do you work with? Have you got a brochure of products that we could look at? And we just start the conversation. We met some really, really funny people yesterday and we all came away and thought, wow, we've got at least four companies there that I think we're all pretty convinced we're gonna work with. So amazing. The best way to source products without a shadow of a doubt is to attend trade shows. So wherever you're based, even if you're based in the US, uh, we spoke to loads of US based suppliers in London yesterday. They come here specifically to speak to sellers like you and I. Uh, I also know over in the US, there's loads of trade shows and things like that. So make the time, if you've got a full-time job, take a day off and go to a trade show. So you can physically see these products that you're wanting to, pri that you're wanting to private label. Um, and there's no better way to do it. And I can't believe it's the first one we've, we've gone to. Uh, we've been doing this nearly five years now. Uh, I've obviously had quite decent success with it. Uh, so. Yeah, I really, really would recommend for you guys to attend trade shows and speak to people face to face. So the second way and the classic is to find suppliers in the Far East by using Alibaba.com. So this is how we started out. Uh, the big one we've had is certification, finding trustworthy suppliers. But the video you'll see at the top of the screen, uh, now that shows you step by step how we go about finding suppliers that uh, we can trust. Um, we have certain criteria when we're looking for Alibaba supplies. So if you want help with that, check out that video. Any questions, leave a comment uh, below. Any questions on that video, do the same. The third way, and it's very similar to Alibaba, but it's a website called 1688.com. Now, the only issue with this website is it's all in Chinese. So if you want to start speaking to suppliers, and some of them do have UK, um, do have English speaking agents on hand to speak to you, but otherwise you're going to need to find an agent uh, or you're going to need to learn Mandarin. Uh, some people say that 1688.com offers uh, far better prices than anywhere else. One thing I would say is in our experience, it's largely due to the fact that compared to Alibaba, Alibaba know they're going to be serving the majority of EU based customers, or there's gonna be more of them there. So because of product quality in the EU, certification and everything like that is much higher. So the products are more expensive because they're better quality, uh, you're probably gonna have certification. Uh, but with, yeah, 1688, if you're looking for low price products, if you're looking to maybe try and find a uh, supplier for something you're selling already, it's worth checking out, worth speaking to. Um, and finding an agent, someone that can actually go on there for you, speak to some of these different suppliers in Chinese. And yeah, um, I think it's well worth checking out even to check that the products you're looking at, uh, if you can get a better deal elsewhere. So there are my three top. Um, the trade show without a shadow of a doubt is the best way we've ever, ever gone about finding suppliers. Uh, one thing I did see yesterday was the amount of CBD uh, related stands was incredible but there was loads and loads of different exhibitors there um i i, I don't know how many product ideas we could walk away from uh with, with yesterday i mean there are hundreds that we could now do um it's just a case for us to do the research uh find the ones that are best suited to our brands find the ones where competitions looking like we can get instant access to that market not too competitive and obviously the margins are there. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed some of the video uh, footage of us going on the trade show. Um, I really want to capture as much of it as possible for you guys. So, and that's what this channel is all about. So trying to bring you guys value, trying to help you along your journey with your Amazon or product or online business. So yeah, if you found this useful, hit the like button. If you've got any questions, I will do my best to help any of you out. Just leave a comment below. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications bell because we put out useful videos like this every single week. And if you subscribe, you're just gonna be the first to know about them. So you're gonna be instantly ahead of someone that maybe doesn't. So guys, thanks for watching today's video. Uh, there'll be more from us again very, very soon. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.